Well, we're trying to study and uh, trying to see what the impact of economic growth in general is on the, on the income of the rich people, uh, on the top part of the distribution. And we thought it was an interesting question uh, because uh, there are many studies uh, done in the past uh, wondering what the impact of economic growth is on the poor people. And, uh, but if we think about an, in, in, in an inequality perspective, uh, we would also should be interested in what's going on at the top part of the distribution. And that's important because when we look at the whole distribution, one thing that we can learn is what's happening at the bottom part of the distribution. This is one thing, and there are policies for that uh, in, trying, in terms of trying to design policies to mitigate negative effects of growth on poor people. And so on. But when we think about rich people, uh, there are two things that are important. One is uh, the information that we can get from rich people, depending on the source of information, can be either more precise than the one that we can get from the poor people, because household service, which is our most common source of information, is usually um, excludes, tends to exclude people at the extremes part of the distribution, either at the poorest people, because they don't even get to them, but also at the upper part of the distribution. So depending on the source of information, we can learn something. And in this case, um, we were lucky to have access to some information that has been collected in the past few years coming from tax income data. And this tax income data seems to be uh, like a very powerful source of information to understand the dynamics at the top part of the distribution. And I think that's important. That's important to learn what's happening across the whole distribution because then we can learn a little bit more of what the process of economic growth, how it's being distributed across different segments of the distribution, and therefore, we can, if we can think of, uh, we can think of probably policies designed to do something in terms of whether we want to be more redistributive, we want to enhance efficiency, things like that.